Hello, 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 welcome to a very exciting unboxing. If you are feeling a little bit whimsical, if you're feeling a little bit magical, if you think maybe you're sprouting wings and becoming a fairy, I think you'll enjoy this. I'm going to be unboxing the February Fairy Loot box. I am a rep for Fairy Loot. You can receive 5% off the first monthly subscription box you receive with the code I do believe in fairies. There is a waitlist at the moment, but if you sign up to that, you will be alerted when there are spaces available. So that's I do believe in fairies for 5% off your first box in a monthly subscription. Very, very exciting. Let's dive into this. I can't even remember the theme. I'm ready for it. Okay, the theme is what the future holds, which makes me think that we could be expecting a sci-fi book in this box. I don't know. Normally I have a vague idea, but honestly, I just don't this time. And I forgot a carrier bag to put the debris. Oh well. Okay, first up we have got this little box thing, which I've known in the past to include some form of cutlery, straws, chopsticks, that kind of thing. So, oh, also I have no idea who that is on the front. I'm, I'm spectacularly crap. Uh, guessing who characters are because I am really really visual when I'm reading books in terms of like my imagination I just completely imagine the characters very rigidly in my own way to the point where if I went back and read a book like 10 years later I bet I would still think of them as that way in my head and as soon as I see other artists portrayals I'm just like oh <laughs> okay let's see what's actually inside this I think it's cutlery I'm gonna say that looks kind of cutlery-ish oh my god it's gold cutlery with quotes on <gasps> okay, hang on, let's get them all out. Now that I own my own home and need my own crockery, cutlery, utensils, it's much more exciting this kind of thing because before, like obviously, I just used the cutlery that was my mum's cutlery. I love the fact that it's gold. I love that and also there is a quote, hang on. I, it's quite cold because it's quite cold outside so it's kind of got a bit steamy. I don't know if you can tell, is it even showing up? There we go, there's a quote you probably can't read on each bit of cutlery. This one says, every locked door has a key. Thank you, computer. This, shh. This one says, everything science fiction until someone makes it science fact. And the fork says, think badass thoughts. I love, I love, I love, I love, I love. That's very cool. All my cutlery is silver, so I'm very, Happy to have some cool gold cutlery to mix it up a bit. Pretty sure there's someone working literally in the hallway outside my flat doing something. I have no idea what, but I can hear them. Anyway, so if you hear any background noise, that's what that is. We have a candle. This is Eco Candle, who is from the Lunar Chronicles. I know that one from Cinder. What's the scent? Cranberry, peach, citrus, vanilla, fairly exclusive. And this is Flick the Wicks candle. As in, that's the shop. Oh yeah, I can definitely, definitely smell like the peach, I think. Peach and cranberry. Smells a little bit like the drink sex on the beach. There we go. Blue. I like. I haven't had a candle for a while in the book subscription box, so I'm very happy to have more. I have actually, I wouldn't burn candles for the longest time because I just think like, I want to save them and burn them for a special occasion. I don't know what that would be. And now I'm just like, no sod it, I'm just gonna burn them all and then just get more candles. Fairy lights. Little moon fairy lights. I love these fairy lights couldn't tell. I've got fairy lights in every room apart from my bathrooms. Oh my god, I need to get some batteries in here but I will do that after unboxing. But look those little moons that I assume light up. <gasps> okay, I'm gonna try and remember to put batteries in and come back and show you because that that is very exciting. I love fairy lights. Okay, everything in this box so far. Love. Update. The fairy lights have been lit. Glow. Why are you focusing on me? Focus on the moon. There we go. There we go. Magical. Magical. We love it. I very much enjoy fairy lights. They make me very happy. Is it a pin? It is a pin. Plenty of humans were monstrous and plenty of monsters knew how to play at being human. And this is inspired by Vicious, which we love. Amazing. I have got my pin banner in the background there now, so Oh my god, am I going to have space? I've got to rearrange the pin banner, I think, a little bit. Is it a cushion cover? It is a cushion cover inspired by Red Rising. But is it saying on the back? No, by Pierce Brown. It says, per aspira ad astra. There we go. <laughs> there's one side, and there's the other side with some people on it. I actually DNF'd Red Rising, so I don't know who these people are. It was too dark for me. It just was too gloomy without hope. Um, I, I know it's a really well-loved series though. So there is a Red Rising pillowcase. 
And the cards, of course, what do we have here? The Six of Wands and the Five of Wands. I have no idea who these people are, but I, I will find out on the spoiler card after we find out what the book is. Okay, I think we're to the book now. Book time, I've got absolutely no idea what this book is, but I can see pink sprayed edges. Okay, so the book, ooh, pretty, is The Golden Flame by Emily Victoria. I have never heard of this. On the front it says, a page turning adventure. There's the cover. There's the spray pages. They're kind of pinky red, actually. And oh, on the back it says, change your fate, pay the price. I'm intrigued, I'm intrigued. Shall we read the blurb? Orphaned and forced to serve her country's ruling group of scribes, Karis wants nothing more than to find her brother, long ago shipped away. But family bonds don't matter to the scriptorium, whose sole focus is unlocking the magic of an ancient automaton army. In her search for her brother, Karis does the seemingly impossible. She awakens a hidden automaton. Intelligent with a conscience of his own, Alex has no idea why he was made, or why his father, the nation's greatest traitor, once tried to destroy the automatons. Suddenly, the scriptorium isn't just trying to control Karis, it's hunting her. Together with Alex, Karis must find her brother, and the secret that's held her country in its power for centuries. Intriguing. <laughs> the little signature. It's signed. Squiggled. <laughs> cool, okay. Ooh. Look at that. That's so pretty. Is there anything on the back? Just on the front. That's really pretty. And then of course we've got the artwork underneath the dust jacket. And there's the, that little edge bit there. I am, you know, I never pretended to be good at unboxings, guys, okay? Just know that. And of course we have got a letter from the author, the fairy scoop, which tells us, oh. Alexa, stop. Alexa just deemed it relevant to play me some music, apparently. Anyway, yeah, this, which I was about to hit myself in the face with before I got interrupted, uh, Fairy Scoop, which is um, telling us a little bit of information inside and what the next theme is, which is Frozen Fables. That is the theme for March. Very exciting. And we have a little theme bookmark too. Okay, let's recap where everything was from because we know, <laughs> I'm not gonna know, without the help of the spoiler card. So first up was the candle, which I did in fact get correct. I knew that I had that correct because I have read the series. So this is Inspired by the Lunar Chronicles by Marissa Meyer, and this is by Flick the Wick. Then we have the fairy lights, which I'm really not making look their best with <laughs> holding them up like this, but I will go get batteries and turn them on and show you, or well, you might have already seen that, but fairy lights, yay, with moons on them, which are just generally fun. Then we have the pin, which is inspired by Vicious by Victoria Schwab, and this is designed by Jez Hawk. The pillowcase, which is inspired by Pierce Brown's Red Rising series. The illustration is done by Liz Art Zardonix, and the graphic design and letter has been done by Chatty Nora. The cutlery is inspired by Warcross by Marie Lu, and it is designed by Warwick Art. I love this very much. Okay, these cards are inspired by Spin the Dawn, which is why I don't recognise them, because I haven't read that book, by Elizabeth Lim, and these are designed by Ars28. And the book itself, which is The Golden Flame by Emily Victoria, which is an epic fantasy adventure full of rune, magic, rebellion, and finding where you truly belong. This is an exclusive edition signed by the author. It's got an exclusive cover, the sprayed edges, the foil embossing on the case, and artwork on the reverse of the dust jacket. Both the reverse dust jacket artwork Full embossing design and the character illustrations on the reverse side of the author letter are designed by, again, by Warwick Art. So that is fantastic. I love that. I love the colours of it. I love this shininess here as well. Shiny. <laughs> so that is the February Fairy Loot box. I am a rep for Fairy Loot, so I can give you a 5% off code, which is I do believe in fairies. And this will get you 5% off your first box in your monthly subscription. Sign up to the waitlist and you will get notified when there's a space available. I would really, really recommend Fairy Loot as a box. I absolutely love it. They always do really fantastic items and you can tell a lot of effort goes into it as well. So definitely check it out. I'll put all the script, in the, in the links, I'll put the things you need, the information down in the description. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment what your favorite item was or subscribe to see more of my face on your feed. Also, if you want to become a member of my Patreon family, there's links down there for that too. It's fun, fun times, fun times I had. Guys, have a great, rest of your day, week, month, year, I don't know. I don't know what my outros are becoming anymore, but regardless, thanks for watching. Keep smiling and stay positive. <laughs>